gogungho.com slash wet spinach for a special offer. What's up guys, it's wet spinach here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a simple yet appealing twitch overlay. A lot of the times when I go on Twitch, I see people with a big banner to on the front, on the top of their screen, or at the bottom, with all their social networking info. This is okay, but if you look at it from a viewer point of view, it's kind of a bit distracting and a little bit of an eyesore. Um, if you look at all the big streamers like uh, Tally, Swifty, Soda Pop, and even, uh, they have a very simple yet appealing and almost fitting overlay to them. Now as a graphic design major in college I learned that a simple design is often a better design. Um, something that people can kind of feel that fits into the piece naturally. So what I will do for you guys is I will give you an example, I will make uh, some graphics and I will show you guys how to make it. You don't have to use my exact design but you can use it as um, an example and you can see the techniques that I use. Alright, so now the first step of making an overlay, we're going to start with a little border around the, uh, the webcam. Um, first step, what you need to do is you need to find the resolution of your webcam and what it's uh, recording your face at. Um, mine right now is 28 or 1280 by 720. If you don't know what it is, when you have your webcam on OBS, you just right click into the properties and it will show you. Okay, so now that we have the um, dimensions for our webcam, I'm going to go ahead and enter mine 1280 by 720. Alright, and there's the, uh, there's the canvas. Also important, you want to make sure that the background is transparent. We're going to be making a PNG file, not a JPEG. You have to save this file as PNG. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and make the actual uh, webcam overlay right now. We're going to want to use the brush tool, and we're going to want to make sure that the size of the brush, or the yeah, the size of the brush is between 20 and 25. Mine's at 23. So to go ahead and start making this, what I like to do is I like to use those. You see those little, uh, you see those little uh, squares that are right there. Use those as guidelines. So what I do is I try to get like the four that are in the, the square, and I give that a click. All right. So now we clicked it. We're gonna go over and we're gonna go to the other side right here. We're gonna hold down Shift and we're gonna click. There's the first line. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Now, maybe a little bit big. Oops. So you may have to go back. If you go back, you have to re-click the corner and then bring it back here. And then go up here and then bring it back home. There it is. It's done. Okay, so from here you can keep it at the same color that it is right now. Mine, for instance, is black because that's what my color swatch was. But you can take it a little bit further than that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the layer and then we're going to go over to gr uh, gradient overlay. This is just if you want to do it. This may I think that this makes it look a little bit better. Um, I'm going to go to gradient overlay. You can change the colors. So I want to make that red. A little bit more of a deeper, not too uh, strong of a red. There you go. Hit OK. And then you can change the style. Sometimes certain styles won't work with uh, the uh, the overlay since it's a it's a transparent file and it doesn't cover the whole canvas alright so now that we created the uh, webcam overlay we're gonna make a little bar on top of the webcam 
this is just what I like to do uh, for my overlay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new file, we're going to make sure it's transparent, this one's transparent so we're good, we're going to make it, you know, it doesn't have to be this, just as long as you have enough room on a canvas to work with, I'm going to make it 550 by 100. However, I'd recommend having 100 because it's a, it's a good size, it's not too big, not too long. So let's go ahead and make that. And there it is. Alright, so now that we have this canvas up, what we're going to do is we are going to use basic shape to create the thing. You can use a rectangle if, you, if you'd like, however that's kind of plain and boring. Um, so what we're going to do is, what I just did is I googled trapezoid PNG and Google's and images and I found this one right here. You'll probably find it. Um, if you do the same set step. So let's go ahead and open that and place that and you can stretch and move it. So there's that. Now I know it looks kind of blurry and stuff but we're gonna make it a gradient overlay as well so it will look so much better. And you can leave it as a trapezoid if you'd like However, what I like to do is I like to put it over to this corner. And do a little something like that. Make that a little bit taller. There we go, just like that. So that's the basic shape of the uh, social bar, as I call it. Alright, so now that we got the shape of the social bar um, sorted out, whether you can style it however you want, you can go into the gradient overlay like we did with the webcam. Oh, first you have to place it. Go to blending options, gradient overlay, and try to keep the colors consistent with the webcam overlay and the uh, social bar. Sorry, I know that loud, that sound is pretty loud. Um, let's get that same kind of color. All right, so that's if you look at the colors and you don't and you just ignore the white and gray squares on the on the far right. Uh, that's what it's going to look like. Um, it's just going to look like that uh, shape that we just made. Uh, you can also take it a, a step further. What I did with mine is I went to the eraser tool and I used a custom eraser uh, brush brush pattern. And you have to rasterize it. And I just kind of took a little bit out of the edges to give it kind of a a cool texture on the edges. So, let's hold. If you hold down, sh remember, guys. If you hold down Shift button and then click and move your mouse, it'll make it an automatic straight line. All right. There we go. And let's do the bottom. Alright, so that looks a little bit more edgy or a little bit more interesting than the last one. Alright, and to finish it off, you can go to blending options, you can drop a shadow to make it look a little bit better. You can use an outer glow. Um, what I do is I just make it a uh, color that I will notice. Get the size all sorted out of the actual glow of it. That looks good, and then change it to like a, a white or a, or a light color um, glow, so it will show up and give that kind of a little bit of a shine. All right, so that's the social bar, and next we're gonna take this into OBS. Remember to save these two files as PNG.
If you save it as a JPEG or anything else, it'll show up as a solid image. We don't want that. We want them to just take the shape of the file that we made in Photoshop. So real quick before we go ahead and take these into OBS, we're going to set up some, uh, some uh, two other PNGs, or how any, however many you need. Um, so we're going to go to new, and these are just going to be the, the text, text images of your social media. And I will show you guys how to do an image slideshow of that in OBS. Alright, so for this, you're going to want the width to be the same, 100 and are the height to be 100 and then the width will be a little bit shorter so I will take this down to 475 looks about right make sure it's transparent and there we go so what we're gonna do here is we are just going to put in a text and let's say if you have a Twitter um, for your stream in which case I do so I will put in wet spinach or at wet spinach Alright, and you can make that text a little bit bigger, in which case we will, just a little bit, alright. It's kind of hard to see if you use white, however white will show up well with uh, the color scheme that I had. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and place an image, uh, libraries, pictures, there's a Twitter PNG, you can find these on Google. Right, and that's the Twitter. All right, so now we got all that stuff in Photoshop done. Let's switch this over to OBS. Okay, um, and I understand that you guys see like an infinity amount of me. There's nothing I can do about it. I know it's gonna fuck you up, but I really can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and add image. Name it webcam overlay. Hit the browse button. All right, and we're gonna hit edit scene, and we're just gonna take that down until. If not, it doesn't match, you can always hit the shift button and it will give it a free form. Alright, so that's the webcam overlay that I just did. And we're going to go ahead and put in the social bar. I just call that social bar. And there it is right here. Now, I, I usually shift clip the social bar to free form it just so it's easier to work with. Uh, make that a little bit skinnier, a little bit more down. Alright, there's the social bar, and I'm going to show you guys how to do the slideshow uh, social media text so it'll show up and uh, rotate it, if you will. Alright, so we got uh, the webcam overlay and the social bar setup so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do the image slideshow alright social bar text alright so we created the image slideshow we named it we're gonna go to add I'm gonna go back to pictures because that's where mine are um, my twitter is right here I'm go ahead and add another one so you added the first one and then you go ahead and add the second one. And you want to make sure that when you make these these uh, text images, that they're the same size. So when they rotate, it'll look a little bit better. Alright, we're going to go up here and edit scene. And I'm taking this down quite a bit. And there we go. And you can see that it's like changing um, each one uh, I think it's I think you can edit the um, actual how long it takes time between images you can make it like five or six seconds so now this is just the tutorial one that I made 
Uh, I know it doesn't look like much, but if you think about it, all the work that it took, it's a little bit more advanced and it's a little bit cleaner and more proper. Alright, so with all the tutorials, the tutorial stuff being done, this is the actual stream setup that I use. Uh, it works very well for me, I like it. Um, you can see that I have a similar, I made a similar uh, webcam overlay. The social bar is very similar as well with uh, the social uh, media information text images in the, in the uh, slideshow format. Um, some of the other texts are just things in OBS. Uh, you can see over that way, right there. That's just the same thing as the social bar, but I use that to display music playing. So if I hit play on uh, Spotify, it'll show the name in there, and it will show up in a kind of a way that will like get it noticed. Um, I may move it up to the corner because that that does kind of look a little bit weird. But uh, anyway, if you guys want to keep in contact with me, uh, you can leave a comment below. If you want to see how my styles of overlays will fluctuate uh, over time, uh, go to twitch.tv slash wetspinach and you guys can actually see my overlay. If I'm not online, you can go to my VODs too. The latest VOD will be the latest uh, uh, overlay that I'm using. Unless I'm creating a new one, which is highly unlikely. Sometimes it gets to be a little bit annoying. <laughs> so, I hope this video helped you guys in making a simple yet appealing overlay.